really interesting for you. I just found out that Earth is actually flat. <laughs> you didn't know that, right? What? Wait, wait. Are you kidding me right now? Don't tell me about that story. Why not? It's an original theory. It doesn't make sense. Because not only Earth is round, but all large astronomical bodies are. Large what? Well, I guess I gotta leave this for later and explain to you why all planets are round. Planets are celestial bodies that were initially formed from the collision of pieces of dust and gas that were floating in the outer space, forming hot and molten bodies. You can ask me how these bodies became round shaped. It's all because of gravity. Yeah, the same force that keeps us from floating. Well, gravity acts as if it originates from the center of the body and pulls everything equally from all sides towards it. To explain this more, I'm gonna use the latex balloon. So I take the balloon and I start inflating it by blowing into it. As you can see, the gas pressure inside makes the latex expand. However, the latex stops expanding when the pressure inside and the elastic force are equal. Being hot and molten, planets tend to expand, but being made of a huge amount of matter, they succumb to their own gravity. We're now between gravity trying to crush the planet down small and pressure trying to make it blow away. When the two forces are balanced, the planet is structurally stable. In astrophysical terms, this is called hydrostatic equilibrium. And notice that the only way to make the two forces equal from all parts is to form a sphere. Mm -hmm, if you say so. But I, I know what you're gonna say. To reach hydrostatic equilibrium state, a planet has to be spherical. But why aren't they perfectly round shaped though? It's because of their spinning moment. The spinning force, also called centrifugal force, causes many planets to bulge out more from the equator. When something spins, like a planet as it rotates, Things on the outer edge have to cover more distance than things on the inside and therefore move faster to keep up. But I really think that... You think that if all of this is true, then why aren't a stereo spherical too? Well, I mentioned at first that this is true for large astronomical bodies, such as planets, stars and even some moons. Because for much smaller bodies, the gravitational pull is too weak to overcome the asteroid's mechanical strength. That's why they don't form as spheres, and they tend to be irregular and fragmentary shapes. And also, Please stop, you didn't have to explain that much. I just wanted to follow the trend, but you just have to mess up everything with your scientific facts. You're welcome.